to be in the video? Hey guys, welcome back to Strand Farm, where we grow independent together. This evening, it's so beautiful out, and it's not very windy at all. And I got to thinking and realized that I haven't given y'all a garden tour since, it's probably been about a month now, and a lot has changed. I don't know if you can tell behind me from where I'm at, but I thought we should go in the garden and look around and just see what all's growing because I'm getting ready to flip a couple of the beds and I thought I'd show y'all that before I flip those beds. Moose wanted to get down here and get her some belly rubs so we're just multitasking. Right Moose. Moose and I just got done mixing up this wheelbarrow of compost so it has compost it has compost and creek sand in it. So I got that all mixed together. And so this is now ready to go for whenever I need it. So let me get done scratching Moomar's belly and then we'll head into the garden and look around. Here's the compost I was just working on. It's mixed with sand. And the only thing still I need to add is some biochar but I've got a hot fire going right now so I'm not gonna be able to add that until after a while and James sifted this for me yesterday and then he also carried up I had a five gallon bucket that was mm, maybe three quarters of the way full of sand slash silt and it was heavy so he carried it up for me and then I mixed it all together just a little bit ago so that's all this is right here and that's ready to go for me. Moose, how'd you get in the garden already? Whoa. We've got our electric fence re-optimized. And I've got my charger up here now so I can turn the fence on when I want to. And I've got my water hose going along here so I can water when I need to. So we'll just pan really quick. We'll start over here where Moose is at. I'll try to go slow so it doesn't make your eyes spin. Here comes Loki. So that's everything that's in the fence. We'll just go ahead and start over here. How you doing, Loki? You doing good? We'll follow Moose, so we'll go this way first. The first things first, right here, I've got some bee balm in this pot. And I will probably get that planted in the ground at some point. I just have to decide where I want to put it. Down here on the ground in this random spot, I have two volunteer calendula that were coming up in another place. And I moved them right here. I just think that'd be really pretty. This first bed right here is primarily garlic, and I showed y'all this before. But if you can look down through there, I've got some gaps. Like, right here's a gap. So I, I put some more volunteer calendula, I transplanted it over here. Down here under this board, it's got two bricks holding it down. I sewed a line of carrots. And these seed trays, I've got nasturtium so those nasturtium seeds i ended up hanging them up inside of the enclosed trailer because we were expecting a hard frost and i don't have any more nasturtium seeds that i'm aware of and so i really wanted to save some seed from that so i have those planted in one of these trays and hopefully they come up i guess we'll find out here in a week or two if they were viable seeds or not i made a video about these nasturtiums last fall and I can link that down below if you guys missed it. These two trays, this one and this one are both marigolds 
And then in this garlic bed, anywhere that I had a bare spot, so like right here you can see, right there, over there. So anywhere there was a bare spot in this bed, I went ahead and just planted some beets. So this bed is fully planted. Same thing right here, I've got beets, beets. And then back here in this hole, I went ahead and put some more volunteer calendula that I transplanted. Over here where Moose is at, I've got two calendula plants, and I showed those in my last garden tour. And they're just kind of sitting here in waiting. I will be putting those somewhere. I just need to decide where. I also put this thyme plant in the ground. I had to take it out of one of my other beds, so it's just kind of sitting here right now. If we come over this way, we ended up moving the electric fence to include this cherry tree. James brought up all these rocks and he expanded this tree ring. Underneath this tree you can see we've got a big old lemon bomb right there that's coming back from last year. I've still got work to do in this bed but I've transplanted a couple of volunteer calendula here as well. Over here on this side I had planted something right in here but it looks like it's gone. So, oh well, that happens. This cherry tree looks so good. And it already flowered, but I think you guys missed that. So there's our Black Republican cherry tree. And we made a video on when we put this tree here. So I'll link that in the description box as well. This whole little side area is kind of just like a wild flower kind of just more of like a wild garden i've got some perennial herbs in there down here growing on the ground random is plantain we've got catnip this is catnip and this just smells so good also in this bed we've got a bunch of strawberries that are starting to flower let me get close there's a flower. There's another flower. So they're starting to flower and it seems like they're flowering early. There's also volunteer calendula coming up that seeded from plants that were here last year. So that's awesome. There's another one right there. They're just coming up wherever they want to. And then up here we've got catnip. Outside of the fence is a catnip. More plantain, more catnip. And then I transplanted in some yard onions, which they're getting established, so right there they are. They don't look too good right now, but they'll come around. So here's the side garden, and then outside of the side garden again, we've got more plantain, which we love. I love having a lot of plantain. We use it all the time. And along the back side of this bed are some wildflower pollinator mixes that I planted so those will be coming up soon and then all this clover that you see on the ground I brought that in over here is our corn patch we have yet to do anything with that so we need to get working on that here soon but if we go down here I'll show you guys here's some more random strawberries that I planted in last year Back up in here, we moved one of our cherry trees from the other side of the garden area because it's too shady. So James and I transplanted it over here. So we'll walk over to that and take a look. What are you doing in there, Doki? Doki. Oh. So Doki's showing y'all where that cherry tree's at. So we'll walk over there really quick. Oops. If I don't get caught in the fence first. We moved it over here because this area gets really good sun. And James gave it a nice tree ring as well. And this tree's already flowered. I think we missed that as far as showing that on the YouTubes. But it's got some fruit on it, which surprised me because I thought for sure all the flowers would fall off just from the shock of being moved. But we'll see if we get any fruit off this thing. Down here we've got some yard onions back there strawberries more yard onions daffodils 
strawberries, calendula, daffodils, and then behind is another strawberry, but that one might have got poor placement on my part. And all around this tree are wild blackberries. And we should be getting fruit off of them this year. It looks like they're starting to flower. So here's the wild blackberries. They're just going crazy in here. They're so happy. What you doing, Moosey? Are you eating the corn? Are you eating that corn stalk? Are you getting the final little bits of sun there, Loki? This tomato trench, we haven't done a whole lot with. As you can see, there's just volunteer plants growing. We've got some volunteer blackberries and more volunteer calendula that are coming up all in this bed. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save all the calendula, but I'm gonna try to do my best. And up here on this portion of the bed, we amended from this part over with compost. And we did actually mix it in rather than a no-till because I had noticed that some of the soil in there, we didn't mix it up very well last year. We kind of ran out of time. So there was some chunks of like real heavy clay in there. So I went ahead and mixed everything in, but I'll show you what I've got planted in there. All I've got going in here right now is some peas. And then this whole front section is ready for me to plant. The back section back there, this strip back here, that's also ready for me to plant. So I'm gonna get in here and get this planted. But again, I've got more volunteer calendula coming up outside of the bed right there, right there, right there. There's another one. So they're just all over the place. Moving along. This bed is fully planted. And I know these aren't the best looking trellises that I've ever done. Hopefully it'll get the job done though. So in this bed, again, we've got peas. And I planted peas along both sides of this trellis. And I just planted some of those two days ago. So that's why they're not up yet. And then these are the starts that I had in my last video. In the front of this bed, I believe I did radishes. And then in the back, I've got two rows back there of a lettuce mix. And on this side of the bed, we've got strawberries, peas again. In the holes, I've got, uh, I believe it was radishes. I put radishes here, radishes there, radishes there. And I just did that a couple days ago. So... Those will be coming up soon. So now let's go take a look at the rest of the rows. We looked at the main garlic row, but let me show you how everything else looks right now. This row doesn't really have anything going on down here. I've just got three trays of strawberries that I've been pulling from, and I have yet to get these guys transplanted somewhere. And then this whole bed needs to be amended yet. Just a bunch of volunteer calendulas coming up all over this bed and down here in this section from here over we've got potatoes so those are starting to come up and they look really good they're coming up you can still see there's quite a bit of clay there but I ended up just going up to the rabbit hutch and getting a five gallon bucket of droppings and I mixed that in and so that's the only fertilizer that I added or amendment I guess rather this year. In this little pot I have some mountain mint growing and this is the plant that my mom got for me last year but I need to get this in the ground. It's trying to come back. I, I just don't think it's happy in this pot so I just need to decide where I want to put that and then we'll get that in the ground. This plant my mom got me, I believe it was four years ago my mom got me this. But this is an October Daphne and it comes back and it does so good and it's so beautiful when it blooms. So I'm really glad this plant's coming back. So there's the potatoes down there and then this row down on that far end y'all have seen 
but we've got our garlic coming in the whole other section of this row James and I amended it yesterday and we mixed in I believe it was three wheelbarrows of compost granted we left the garlic section alone so the rest of the bed got three wheelbarrows of compost mixed in watered it really well and then we put some leaves on top and this little half row down here we haven't done anything with it yet either we're just letting some volunteer wheat grow for now and that's getting ready to go to seed But down here in the bed, it looks like we've got some volunteer potatoes coming in. So I'm just going to let those grow for now. Because I don't really need this bed for anything yet. I'm going to use this bed for growing some of my peppers this year. Down here below that, we've got our comfrey. And that's coming back in. Looks like it's getting ready to flower. Right down in there, it's getting ready to flower. It's such a beautiful plant. And in this little pot, I had sowed carrot seeds a while back, and it looks like only two of them came up. So there's one right here, and then there's one over there. So I went ahead and re sowed this pot with, I believe it was beets. These two buckets, we've got blueberries, and those are flowering, and they look so beautiful, the flowers. So we'll be having blueberries. In this little pot, I transplanted some of my volunteer cilantro. So this pot is full of cilantro now. This is all just random that I need to put away, really. But over here on this tree, this is our pink lady apple tree, which you guys saw me take trash bags off in the last garden video. And it's doing really well. It's pretty much finishing up flowering at this point. But um, if all these flowers that are intact, if all these flowers grow us apples, that's going to be a lot of apples. Again, James brought up a bunch of rocks and expanded out this tree ring. It used to just be kind of like around here. But because the tree has grown, we felt like the tree ring just looked too small. So he brought all these rocks up. And made the tree ring bigger and then I put in some more strawberries so this strawberry is new and that strawberry is new that strawberry over there is new and then I also brought in one of my calendula which is right there and again with this tree ring James expanded it with more rocks and in here I have what did I add in here? It looks like I just added calendula in here. There were already strawberries here. So we've got a calendula there. Strawberry. Calendula. Comfrey. Calendula. And strawberry. And this tree seems to be doing a lot better since we gave it some compost. And here's our little cherry tree that we amended. And honestly, I think it's doing better. Just the coloring on it looks a lot better. The leaves are like a nice darker green color. So I think this tree's coming back. But around it, we've got strawberries, comfrey, comfrey, wild violets, calendula, and thyme. All right, and now we're gonna take a quick look at the raised beds before I lose my light. So I'll try to be quick on this part. On this tall raised bed, we've got volunteer grapes coming in right here. These were here last year. This is where I grew a lot of my tomatoes last year. But right now we've got radishes coming in. And then we've got some beets coming in. There was a row right here of carrots that I had sown, but I didn't do a very good job of keeping them moist, and they take a long time to germinate. So I just re-sowed this with beets the other day. And then we've got another row of beets right there, as well as right there.
And over here I've got some head lettuces. So these are all romaine lettuces. As well as back there, those are romaine lettuces. In the center here I have that one little tiny puny looking cauliflower that I had. I just popped it in right there and it seems like it's eh, it kind of seems like it's doing something. Over here alongside it, I put in my cabbages. So I just put all my cabbages together. They're looking really good. Hopefully they stay looking good. And around the edge here, I've got just some random scallions that I put in. So that's the tall raised bed. This little garlic bed we have yet to amend, but what's going on in here is my black hollyhock that we planted last year from seed. And then there's some volunteer garlics growing in there as well. Over in this little tree ring, we've got some strawberries some comfrey and then I put three heads of romaine in right there and then I also put in a little calendula right there okay so now we'll take a look at these two beds these are the ones that I'm working on and so I just wanted to show you how they look right now because I'm gonna be changing them out probably in the next couple of days this bed right here we've got a sage plant and that's doing really well beside it I was trying to figure out what these plants were in my last garden video and I figured it out finally after they got big enough I was able to taste test them and it's actually cilantro so we've been harvesting that and eating that in our salads and it tastes so good so that's all cilantro right here and behind it this is actually I thought I had planted totsoy but it turns out that when I was saving my seed from last year, I didn't even realize that I was saving seed from tot soy and pak choy. So this is a blend <laughs> and it's actually worked out okay. Like it tastes really good. But sadly we got some really warm weather the last week, like almost 80 degrees. And so these greens didn't like that and they started to bolt, which basically, basically just means that they started to go to seed. And whenever they do that, they start to taste bitter. So it's not really palatable. So I'm getting ready to rip out all these tot soy greens and all these pak choy greens. And then we'll plant something else there after that. These plants are starting to get kind of buggy. So I know that their time has come. So I'll be taking these out. And the chickens will enjoy that. That'll be a nice snack. We were able to enjoy these for quite a few weeks though. So then over here in this section of the bed we've got radishes growing and I just sowed a bunch more radishes so everywhere that you see like a little divot I have planted more seed. What else is in here? Some uh, bib lettuce and some I, I don't know if those are romaines or not I can't remember but there's more lettuces here. So these are leeks right here. One, two, three leeks and then over here we were trying to figure out in the last video what I planted here because I didn't do a good job of recording but to me these look like beet greens so we've got lots of beets coming up and then this is a lettuce that I put in more beets and then over here we've got more radishes there's a random calendula on the other side of the bed again is more radishes and then the spinach that I sowed which I just harvested a bunch of greens off of it earlier today for my lunch so it looks a little sparse right now but um, that spinach is really good after the spinach I've just got a little bit of lettuces growing here I just had some random ones left over so I just plopped them in under this board is carrots there was pak choy growing here but that had already bolted and finished so I pulled it all out gave that to the chickens and then I sowed carrots here along here is another row of radishes and then these little greens that you see those are radishes and in the middle of the bed we've got that beautiful Swiss chard down here in this bed this was kind of my experimental bed I was trying to grow some chicken feed seed that I had just to see if it was going to do anything but outside of the bed here we've got some volunteer grapes and it looks like they've got little grapes on them like right here those look like little grapes to me and over here those look like little bitty grapes in this bed I had planted a bunch of feed seed 
and these are all peas that came up so that was awesome in the peas I've got still some volunteer cilantro that grew from the plant that I had here last year that went to seed just growing kind of random so that was a happy surprise can you see it all in there there's some back there 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 so now that I know that these seeds that I had from the chickens are growing I'm gonna pull all these out and give them to the chickens so I can get ready to use this bed and then over here I've got my wheat now that I know that this wheat actually grows I've started to grow it outside of the bed so I'm gonna come through and pull all this out and probably just plant it somewhere on the ground that way I can still have the wheat because I have really enjoyed giving this to the chickens they love to eat it so what I'll usually do is just come through here with my bucket grab some and just twist it off like that and I go all the way across here with my bucket and then I bring that to the chickens and they're so happy and isn't that just a beautiful color let's see what else is going on this bed so down in here I had sown some leeks and I took those out but it looks like there was a volunteer tomato that was growing down in there so I had taken the dome off of this a few days ago and cleaned out because there was some weed seeds and stuff and so I transplanted those leeks that y'all just saw but now I've got a little tomato growing in there so that's another happy surprise and again this weed I'm gonna pull this weed out and put it somewhere else so I can get ready to use this bed for, for other things in this tray I planted some herbs let me see if I can read the tags chamomile marjoram dill and basil so that's what's going on in here over here in this tray i have my celery and i had it covered up because we were supposed to get some gnarly rain and those are coming along nicely here's another example of my wheat i'm kind of growing it like sod i've got some growing right here i've got some growing right there and same thing i just come through here with my hands or my scissors and give it a haircut and give that to the chickens and they love it here's how I grow it I've got these little salad containers and I figure these are a good use looks like some extra water got in this one I need to drain that out but or I could poke holes in the bottom but anyway I just put a bunch of wheat seeds down in there and then cover it with a little bit of compost water it just a little bit and then just let it set and that'll germinate and then I just plop those on the ground somewhere. There's some more wheat growing right there along the edge of the bed. Oh, right there. And then of course, here's our strawberry bed. And all these strawberries are wanting to flower too. I never did finish going through here and pulling out and thinning out the strawberry bed. So I think I'm just gonna leave it for now since they're starting to flower. After strawberry season, I'll come back through and thin it out some more but it kind of surprised me all these flowers in here all right guys so that's a wrap on the garden tour i hope y'all enjoyed coming around with moose loki and i and just walking through the garden and seeing what's changed since the last video and the sun's starting to go down now and it's getting cold so i'm gonna head back inside and get a fire going but thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Happy Earth Day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.